will I recommend you or would I suggest or would I tell you to get this recorder? The answer is... Hello guys and welcome to yet another reaction video right here in the Africa Army studio. Today I am really excited and pumped up as always because Zoom has released a recorder which they call the Zoom F2 Field Recorder. Now what is this Zoom F2 Recorder all about? That is what we are going to be talking about in this video. So let's get right into it but before we do guys if you're new to the channel I'll much appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button because it goes a long way of helping us create awesome content like this on this channel. Again guys if you're new to the channel this is our Africa Maze mic. This microphone was invented right here in this studio and this is what we use for our review videos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below how this mic or how the audio from this mic really sounds. Now I know there is a lot of camera craze going on right now on YouTube where people are focusing much more on cameras and pictures whilst neglecting audio to the background. So although this is a magnificent piece of introduction or a very magnificent recorder that has been released by Zoom, I'm really surprised that not most of the filmmaking guys on YouTube or within the filmmaking niche on YouTube are talking about this because again it is not camera, it is not the Sony, it is not the Canon R5, it is not the Canon R6, it is not the Canon C7 in fact it is really not a latest camera so most people are not really talking about this but like i always preach the sad reality at the end of the day is that audio is 70 percent of your film no matter how good your visuals look if your sound is crap or you don't really have very nice audio to back it up then it defeats the purpose of having those very nice visuals. So today we are going to be reacting to the very first video that was released by Zoom because of course, you know, because of the COVID-19, most of these companies have resorted to online product launching because it's actually more dangerous bringing people together in a room to launch products like they used to do in the past. So enough of the talking, sit back, relax. Let's figure this out. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to this channel. On this channel, we take the big Hollywood ideas and we transpose them into smaller ideas so that you, the indie filmmaker out there, can implement in your works. Today, we are talking about the brand new recorder that has been released by Zoom, which is a Zoom F2 recorder. Now, this recorder can actually do 32-bit float recording. Guys, this is mind-blowing. And I know some of you out there are asking, what is 32-bit float recording? And myself, for the most part, I didn't really know much about this because not much of the everyday audio equipment that we have out there has this capability within it. Most of the audio recorders we have out there end at 24-bit recording, including this particular one that we are using to record this video right now. But this new field recorder can do up to 32-bit float recording. And what does this mean for you? It means that you can capture much more dynamic range. It means you can store a lot of information so you don't need to worry about having the right levels. And so you can really record low or actually high but at the end of the day you're still going to be able to increase the volume of your voice or decrease it without losing quality or without introducing any noise into the recorder for example as i'm recording here i had to really tighten the exact amount of picking level that i want this microphone to pick at because at the end of the day if i pick beyond a certain limit i will not be able to contain it but with this 32-bit float recording you don't have to worry about getting it right you can always just forget about it, just capture it anyhow and still get back to post and you still have a lot of information to work with. Guys, this is truly amazing and imagine what this means for you as a YouTuber or a wedding cinematographer or someone who films things on the go. Now, does this get rid of the need for sound guys? No, I don't think so, especially when it has to do with big budget stuff or when you are on a professional film set. But this is actually liberating and can also be a game changer for wedding cinematographers and people who film things on the go. So guys, let's get right into the reaction. Fresh reaction, Hi, let's go. Hi, this is Samuel from Zoom and I'm here to introduce you to the Zoom F2 Field Recorder. A body pack style recorder like this can give you many advantages when capturing audio, especially for your videos. It helps avoid some of the hassles and costs of wireless gear, 
and offers right off the bat guys you can realize that this is so portable and just ready to go look at the sizes you can see that the recorder itself is really small and it also accompanied or is also accompanied with its own lapel that you can easily just clip to your talent and you are ready to go guys this is really the future the future is now amazing there's a small package to keep in your gear bag so let's talk about how you would use the f2 you run the included lavalier microphone and attach it to your talent. Then hit the record button. Activate the lock and put the recorder in a pocket. And guys, this is really huge because most recorders out there don't really have this particular feature, which is to hold all the features within the recorder. What does this do for you? For example, let's say you are recording a wedding or you just hang it on someone and you think it is recording me while he or she has accidentally bumped or pressed that the record button and the turn has really stopped <laughs> recording. Guys, that is really the worst case scenario, but personally, it has happened to me before in the past. So this is really huge. It means that you can really lock in all the features so that just even when you mistakenly press the record button or touch any button within the recorder, it doesn't respond to that once recording is going on. This is actually huge. It's small, but a really huge feature. Or use the belt clip to attach it. That's it. No gain or volume adjustments needed. How do we make this recorder so easy to use? Well, the F2 records in 32-bit float. This is an upgrade. Yes, guys, like we spoke about, because of the 32-bit float, because you are capturing a lot of information within a particular time, you don't need to worry about getting it right because whether you get it right or wrong, you can just simply do the whole thing in post. And so you don't really have to worry so much about getting the correct thing on set. So this makes it very easier for you as a beginner or someone who doesn't really have technical knowledge in audio. This is really huge, guys. So it means it's almost like just plug and play. I would just call this hang and record. Just put it on your talent and you are ready to record. And as you can see over here, most of the recorders, this is the highest you could also find previously, which is 24 bit. Like I said, even this recorder here, that is the highest that it can record at. But so this is really huge to be able to do 32. Let's go ahead. Get a bit depth from the standard 24 bit. To learn more about the details of this system, you can check out our video on the F2 and 32 bit float. For the purpose of this video, this recording system means a couple of things. First, you never need to set the gain or volume of your microphone. It's unnecessary. Two, no matter how loud a person talks or yells into the microphone, you will never clip or distort your audio. Third, no matter how soft the sound source is, you'll always be able to raise the volume in post-production without introducing noise. This makes recording. Exactly guys, this is really huge. Especially if you've ever recorded audio so low that you need to increase it. When you increase it and you have cars in the background or you actually have people making noise in the background or all the things that you don't actually need when you increase the volume, all of these things actually increase along. So this alleviates all that and gives you access to the most important parts of the audio, which is the person talking or the voice that you actually want in the video, instead of also increasing the unnecessary voices or the unnecessary things that you want in the scene. Like I said, this is really huge and could really be a game changer. Let's get back into it. As simple as can be. Attach the microphone to the recorder and the recorder to your talent and hit record. No mistakes possible. The F2 will record the audio to a micro SD card. Of so guys, uh, it records into a micro SD card. In the professional world, uh, this is uh, not so much into it, but again, it, it, it's cool uh, considering the price and looking at the range and the people that Zoom is targeting with this recorder, this is still actually a really good option. And like I said, this is not a game changer for me or like, let me, let me say, this is not something that will prevent me from getting this recorder. It's actually a good thing for me, especially when I'm not on a film set. Will I take this to a film set or a big budget production? Obviously not. But within you, YouTube community or within smaller projects, this is huge. And I can actually interchange this with my mobile phone memory card. So this is actually huge for me. It's actually a plus. 512 gigabytes. You can select 44.1 kilohertz 32-bit or 48 kilohertz 32-bit WAV files. 
You make this setting as well as other settings by connecting it via... Guys, this 5V DC capability is really huge for me because for most of the batteries that most of these recorders introduce into their cameras, I really do hate most of this kind of battery systems. And so I prefer to be given the opportunity to be able to plug in something that will supply power to my recorder. For example, this recorder also uses the little AA batteries, but... Like I said, I hate to deal with batteries. And so I do plug it right to this five volts power bank that I have lying around. This is just an ordinary power bank, nothing special. So that is how I actually get power or that is how I power this particular recorder down here. And that is why you actually see this cable running into this power bank and that is how I power it up. So having this feature here, being able or giving me the opportunity to be able to select the power system that I want, this is really huge because I know that the batteries that they are going to give me here, again, <laughs> I'm really not going to be satisfied with this, but let's proceed. A USB to the F2 editing software for PC and Mac. This gives you access to a low cut filter, file naming options, and more. The F2 also comes in a Bluetooth model, the F2BT. For this recorder, you can connect wirelessly to your iPhone or Android device to not only adjust these settings, but also remotely hit the record button. Guys, this is huge. So if you have your phone, you can easily pair it with your recorder. And instead of picking the recorder and struggling to look at the little screens over there, you can simply just pair this with your phone and voila, you can change all the settings there and also hit your record button. I don't know if this would work for Android because they're saying it is only available within Mac or it's only available within the Apple system. I don't really know, but let's see how this whole thing unfolds. Syncing with the video is always a concern when recording audio on a separate device from your camera. So we've added a couple of things to simplify this process. Firstly, the F2 has a very accurate clock, which will help avoid drifting issues, which is when you're... Guys, this is a very great tool. Why am I saying this again at this point in time of the video? Now, this recorder is actually made for just beginners or people who don't really have much more knowledge in audio. At the same time, if you're a professional, this again wouldn't disappoint you because it also has time code feature, which helps you to be able to sync your video and audio in post. It doesn't just end there because it is not like your regular time code because this actually use advanced clock to make sure that throughout the whole timeline, the whole audio stays intact and doesn't lose or doesn't go out of sync in the middle of the video. You can actually have the beginning right, but as it gets to the middle, the audio and the video will begin to lose connection. And so the video will be saying something else or you see the math opening and the audio is saying something else. You know, there's a clear mismatch between what is being seen and what is being heard. And this alleviates that particular thing completely. Your audio and video becomes out of sync over time. The Bluetooth model also has the option of receiving time code wirelessly from a Bluetooth enabled time code clock. This will give you an even better sync with your video. I'll go into more details about this in a separate video. The F2 runs on two AAA batteries for up to 14 hours. I said it guys, I, I don't really like these battery systems. Is that a game changer? Like, in, is it something that will prevent me from getting this recorder? Like I said, hell no, because they've given me an option to be able to choose the kind of powering system that I need to be able to power this particular recorder. So that is no big deal for me. I'm not happy with this, or and I, but I actually expected it. I was actually anticipating for this kind of batteries, but but it's not a bummer for me. It is not actually something that will prevent me from getting this. Hours of recording. The included LMF2 lavalier microphone comes with a windscreen and clip and locks into the recorder using the threading on the end of the cable. If you want to use a different microphone with the F2, it will provide plug-in power that is required by most lavaliers. That's a look at the new F2 and F2BT field recorders. To learn more about the F2, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website, zoomcorp.com. Guys, that is it for this particular video. So now we get to the very difficult part of this video. Will I recommend you or would I suggest or would I tell you to get this recorder? The answer is yes. 
you really need to buy this recorder, especially if you are not an audio expert or you are just getting started in filming. It alleviates all the issues of trying to get your correct picking or recording it right or else you suffer in post and all those things. Those things are actually alleviated or those things are actually got rid of completely or letting you or giving you the mind or the freedom to focus on the creative aspects of your film. And that is actually really huge because at the end of the day, you need all your senses intact to be able to make the very great choices that is going to affect the quality of your video. It's been me, OBL Jr. right here in the Africa Amazing Studio, guys. If you really did get a ton of information out of this video, I would much appreciate it if you click on the like button because it goes a long way in helping other people discover this video on YouTube. And if you're new to the channel, once again, I much appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification icon so that you get notified anytime we drop awesome content like this on this channel. And guys, I want to say a very big thank you to our very new subscribers on this channel. Thank you all so much for your support so far and your kind words have kept us going thank you so much for watching and i would catch you on the next one until next time as always keep practicing filmmaking peace out